Hello everyone. Welcome to Vlog Day. Now, um, because everybody who's ever vlogged has to, on their very first vlog, explain what vlogging is, I'm going to be an original and do the same. Um, vlogging is a combination of the words video and log. So we have vlog, just like, you know, you have blog, which is web and log, and yeah, you get, you get the idea. Um, so, today we're vlogging. Um, I'm going to be in kind of a rush because I have to leave in 30 minutes to head up to the hospital. So I have 30 minutes to record, cut, compile, upload, and post this. <laughs> we'll see how that goes, right? Um, so, I'm going to be talking to you just as if I was pontificating in my blog. And I guess the purpose of the vlog is to sort of bridge the gap between um, my personality as it comes out on the computer screen and, um, yeah. So, I'm going to be talking about a couple things today. Elevators, nurses, turning lanes, bubble gum. That's four things. Yeah, so four things. Um, <laughs> firstly, elevators. Okay, so um, I've been spending pretty much all day, every day at the hospital for the past month. And something I've noticed that really, really bugs me is that on elevators, you never know which side the buttons are going to be on. So you walk inside, and it's like you have to do this little dance thing. You got to turn this way and then turn that way and see which side the button's on. So I want to know why can't they just put all the buttons on one side all the time on every elevator? Is it that difficult? I mean, isn't it just like a cage and they can do the wiring however they want to? I, I don't get that. It bugs me. So while we're on the subject of hospitals, nurses. So some of the nurses are really nice. Some of the nurses... I think went to nursing school because they had no personality and no friends and thought nursing school would be a good way to spend time. I don't know. Um, so, but something in particular I noticed the other day was that one of the nurses, not one of our nurses, one that I ran into in the hallway when I was walking, um, was wearing a ton of perfume. And I mean a lot of perfume. Like, it gagged you. It was so strong. And I'm just wondering, why would a nurse wear that much perfume? She's going to be going in all these little rooms every day working with her patients. And, you know, they're tiny. These rooms are so small. You know, it just must be stifling to be in the same room with somebody like that. And um, I just don't get that. Don't they have some sort of rule about nurses wearing tons and tons of perfume? I think you'd be making your patients sick. I and mean, she was making me sick, and I was just standing next to her in the hallway. So... Yeah. So, now I have a question. Um, when you're driving, now, I've been doing a lot of driving since I've been staying here, and um, something I've noticed is there seems to be two schools of thought when it comes to driving and turning lanes. Some people use a turn signal when they're in a turning lane, and some people do not. And I wanted to know, is there actually some rule, some specific way you're supposed to do it, or... Is it just a kind of to each his own sort of thing? I don't know. It just annoyed me. It bothered me. Yeah. So, fourth thing. Does chewing gum make you an idiot? Or do you chew gum because you're an idiot? It's questions like these that we must all ask ourselves. And I asked myself last night as um, after RUF, which is um, Reformed University Fellowship. It's like a college Bible study that I've been going to. And afterwards, we go for coffee. And I was sitting um, next to this guy, and we were discussing um, the government and, of course, all the wide range of topics that stem from, from that discussion. And I was chewing gum because I just had a gelato. And... Um, I, I felt weird just sitting there and not eating anything, so I was chewing gum. And so it was just like a piece of, like, stride, because I'm a stride girl, and I always chew stride. And so 
I'm, I'm chewing gum, and I'm blowing little bubbles, because I always blow little bubbles when I talk, and I'm not talking, he's, he's pontificating, and so I'm listening to him, and then I kind of, on accident, blow this humongous bubble, and it pops all over my face. So he's in the middle of this very important point, and he just kind of looks over at me, like, I can't believe you just did that, and I have gum all over my face. I imagine it was kind of hard to take me seriously at that point. Yeah. So, um, I guess that'll be wrapping up this blog post. And um, so I'm going to say hello to my family, Mom, Sam, Rainer, Krista, Daniel, Walter, and especially Maggie. Hello, <laughs> you. And to um, Brandy and Sherry, you guys have been watching my blog. Or something. Um, so, hello to you and Jackson, and um, Margaret and Ellie, and all my friends in Eugene. I miss you guys. Um, peace out.